Number one, my boobs were sagging. That's when I knew it was just fat inside this our body. Like my boobs were literally sagging when I lost all the weight. <laughs> welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Timmy Banjo please kindly consider subscribing to my youtube channel because the family is growing and if you're not new here welcome back what do you do anyways from the topic of today's video I'm not even going to waste time so I'm just going to get straight into it from the topic of today's video most of you who have been following me especially because of my weight loss you would have noticed that I don't post my meals again or when I do they are definitely not keto compliant meals and I'm here to share the reasons why I had to why I had to quit keto first and foremost I'll be showing you how big I was before I started my keto journey I was about 120 kg I don't know what that um what's it called what the what it is in pounds or LBs so this is how big I was so that was me in January 2019 I will try and insert the video um, I'll, I'll try and insert this video in this video if you don't understand what I'm saying I'll try and insert the video in this video so you can see it better so just in case I forget, forget I just wanted to show you what it looks like so I was about 120 kg then in January 2019 and somebody recorded that video and I saw it and I cringed like is this me? my back was folding like my back was literally sleeping on my arm, my arms were gigantic and I just lost it, like, I, I can't, I could not continue. I became desperate to lose weight and I have tried, if you know me, you know I've been trying to lose weight for the longest, for like five years now I've been trying to lose weight and I've been doing the normal exercising and what's it called, low carb diet but then again I gain weight and mm, I'll, I'll exercise, I'll exercise before you know it, I blow up like an elephant. So I was really really desperate to lose weight. So I did my keto. Keto helped me lose weight. I lost about 25 to 28 kg and my lowest was 96 kg. Right now as I'm speaking, I have gained more weight. I am about 103 kg, which is still okay. <laughs> because by the time it's engine 104, 105, there's a problem. So straight into today's video number one reason why i had to quit keto <laughs> number one reason why i had to quit keto was because i lost all my assets i'm coming i'll explain number one my boobs were sagging that's when i knew it was just fat inside this our body like my boobs were literally sagging when i lost all the weight my boobs were sagging i lost my bone and the good side was my waist was getting thinner and if you know me, if you know how my shape is I have a very straight abdomen like my waist area so my hips is not really showing like that like that so I have to do a lot of work to you know make my waist go inside and for my curves to come out and then I lost my bone bone and my boobs no, my boobs were sagging that was the annoying part so I was like why 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 does this have to happen and i was just like no is it that i can't lose weight and retain all this my assets that i've been um what's it called being proud of so that was just it for me number two reason why i had to quit keto was i started keto in school that's in covenant university i started keto in school and Buying food there was quite expensive, like the food we had to buy because it was vegetable, protein and fat, high fat diet and I'm always eating protein and most of the time the protein that I see to buy there are always expensive at the end of the day I might be spending as much as 2000 naira buying food and I just had to improvise and when I got back home thinking it was going to be better for me or 
I'll be spending less. It was the same. It even became worse because my keto appetite grew um, wider because I knew I had access to a lot of food now that I'm back home. And I tried to, you know, make keto meals that will make me want to continue my diet, obviously. So I was always buying sausage, buying vegetables, buying protein, and the oils I use, avocado oil, sesame oil, and the other olive oil, most of them, they are so expensive, and I couldn't bear again. I just had to push back, because at the end of the month, when I calculate how much I spend because of my appetite, I'm not saying you can't do keto on a budget or you can't do um, a low cost keto plan or whatsoever. But for my own appetite, it was really why I wanted to try new things. I was tired of eating the same thing all over again. And if you know me, I, I get bored easily. Like meals can be so boring to me at times. So I had to just look for something wider. And because my taste board or my taste was getting wider I had to buy more things and at the end of the day I was spending a lot of money buying so many things so the third reason why I had to quit keto was because it's not sustainable I know some people do keto long term and some people do like for instance I was doing keto I would do keto for like six weeks take a break continue four weeks take a break three weeks take a break just like that I couldn't do it at a long stretch but initially when I began keto I, I I did it at a long stretch for about two months or like 10 weeks or so I can't remember and that was why I lost so much weight and because it's not sustainable it's not something I see myself doing in a long term imagine going out to a restaurant and you have to be like, oh I'm in the keto diet <laughs> come on oh I'm in the keto diet what do you have that's keto compliance <laughs> even the waiter said we'll be looking at it like guy what's that Oh, so it was. I couldn't complain. I liked doing keto. I liked being on the diet. Like I was so fulfilled. But at the end of the day, I realized it wasn't sustainable for me. I couldn't do this long term. It's just when you want to, or when I want to lose so much weight, and I am um, like, I know that's the only way the weight is going to come off completely without stress, and I get to eat as much as I want. I go into my keto diet so for now it's not sustainable I don't see myself doing it lifetime whatsoever so, so the fourth reason why I had to quit keto was because of health issues I was having extremely low blood sugar if you know what that is it can lead to type 2 diabetes and I don't want to have anything to do like I said I don't like hearing terminal diseases I don't like hearing I don't even like I don't want to see it. <laughs> I just said what like well there was a point I checked my blood sugar and it was so low it was very very like I was very um I was very very worried I had to start eating carbs immediately I had to start taking sugar and everything and sometimes I feel dizzy even when I'm not having keto flu I feel dizzy I lost Sometimes I'll lose consciousness. Sometimes I can't concentrate on what I'm doing. Like I'll be seeing double. <laughs> this one is not film. I'll, I'll be looking at something like this and I'll be seeing two of it. You can imagine. So I was like, huh? What's this? Like my whole concentration was just lost. Very low energy. And I don't know what was causing it because the first time I did keto this thing happened to me but because I was doing it for a long term and there was drastic loss in my blood sugar and it really affected me so for that reason I had to just mm, push back and said you know I had to just push back and say you know what <laughs> maybe we'll try some other method okay so the fifth reason fifth reason why I had to quit keto was because I was highly constipated and that is so painful for me because if you know what constipation is if you've gone through constipation you know how difficult it is you lose your energy your body becomes so weak passing feces is so so difficult and imagine you'll be passing feces and you're seeing blood at the same time like guy come on 
I, I was always seeing blood in my feces and I don't I, I couldn't I couldn't pinpoint what was causing it I was drinking water I was eating enough vegetables high fiber and um, fruits keto compliant fruits I was taking okra high in fiber and I'm wondering why am I constipated I couldn't say why I was constipated and it was so hard for me I had to just say it I had to just say oh my god Oh, God. Oh, God. I had to just say, you know what? <laughs> if I don't know what's causing this thing, this constipation, I'm just going to stop this diet. Alright, so the last reason why I had to quit keto was because of the keto flu. If you know about the keto diet, I'm sure many of you would have read about it, heard about it, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, everywhere. Keto diet is everywhere, right in our faces, every time. You will know what keto flu is. Keto flu is where your body has lost all its um, sugar and carb carbohydrates as the energy producer, and it has it now. You know, wants to start using your fat or your stored fat to start giving you energy. At that point, you go through a keto flu. It's like a change so your body has to adapt to it and at that point you go through a keto flu that's what the keto flu comes from and the symptoms of keto flu are so severe some people pass out at times i remember one time i almost passed out i was really really dizzy i was climbing the stairs and i almost fell down and my friends were laughing at me it's not that <laughs> it's not that difficult now don't kill yourself i was like no i will do this i will do this <laughs> oh, so and every time I had to like begin another keto diet because I was doing it intermittently. Anytime I had to begin another keto diet, uh, obviously I have to go through the keto flow. And I didn't want to have to go through that again because it gives you really really banging headache that if you're not careful you can you know pass out from it. So that's the final reason why I had to keep the keto keto diet so now i i just do the intermittent fasting and uh, sometimes the local diet but most of the time i do intermittent fasting to keep my weight and like i said i check my weight almost every day and i make sure i don't go past 105 because that's like my limit and at the same time i'm still trying to lose all this excess weight like i still have big arms i still have fupa so I'm trying to lose it but not with keto because if I was going to lose it with keto it would have gone since. So that's what I'm just doing basically for now. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope to see you in my next video. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please make sure you do consider hitting the subscribe button. And also hit the notification bell so you get a notification whenever I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. I would love to see you in my next video. Bye.